Hey, Collective, it's your girl, Ratchet Oracle 22. This is going to be our daily message for today, March 16th, 2023. I do hope that this message finds you in peace, love, and prosperity. Bottom of the deck here, I'm already seeing the Two of Cups here, which is the partnership card. So let's see what spirit has for us today. Y'all make sure y'all go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell, the lover's cards when I split the deck. Look at that, the lover's card and the two of cups. Go to round and round. Okay, okay. I don't know what's going on there with that shuffle. There we go. It's a wrap for you, baby. All right. Let's see what spirit has for us today. March 16th, 2020. Three. Shuffling for the collective on March 16th, 2023. Ooh, the Empress card, Libra energy, okay? This may resonate with you if you are a Libra, but Libra does rule relationships and marriages and partnerships, okay? And coexisting with other people. Queen of Wands, Fire Sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody is the shit, okay? And you know it, and somebody else know you the shit, okay? You got the Empress card and the Queen of Wands here, okay? You is the shit, okay? And you and everybody else know it. Wow, Leo energy. Like, these are some heavy hitter cards, y'all. Look at the three. These are heavy hitters. The Empress, Queen of Wands, and the Strength card. Somebody is a very, very strong, passionate, loving, caring person, okay? Not only are you loving, caring, strong, passionate, but you know how to get money. Um, you on top, you know, you stay on top of your game. Okay. You can take care of yourself and take care of other people at the same time. Like somebody is really on their shit. Wow. Scor Scorpio energy. Okay. The death card here. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get one more. Cause the Leo and the, and then you got the hangman here in reverse. Okay. The Leo Scorpio saga continues, okay? The Leo Scorpio. The strength card is Leo. Then you got the death card, Scorpio. But collective, okay? This is what spirit is telling me, all right? You're an empress, all right? You are a strong, independent person, okay? Yes, you love partnership. Yes, you love being with other people but at the end of the day collective you don't need people okay you don't need to be in a relationship okay it's kind of like that saying i wanted you but i didn't need you okay so somebody was dealing with a heavy hitter here okay you're a heavy hitter and you were dealing with someone possibly a leo or a scorpio okay and with this Empress card collective, I feel like you are a very loving, caring, nurturing person. Kind of like the reading the other night. Um, you mother people, okay? You can't help it. So when you get in relationships, you want to take care of the person. You want to make sure that all of their needs are met. You pour into people and you mother them, okay? Very nurturing, very caring, very healing, okay? is the energy that I'm getting with this spread here, especially with the queen of wands. Okay. You're very dominant as well. So it's like this mother type energy with the empress and the queen of wands. You have this very dominating personality, um, very strong personality connect collective where 
you you take care of other people and you also take care of business okay and not only are you strong on the outside collective but you are strong on the inside as well many of you have gone through a lot okay not just in relationships all the way back through your childhood okay you've had a very rough upbringing you've gone through a lot you've experienced a lot of trauma but because of the person who you are on the inside because of the soul that you have the the amazing spirit that you have none of the things that you've gone through have been able to break you and to break your spirit and to turn you into a hateful or evil person it just it hasn't happened okay and there's a saying where the people say hurt people hurt people but i feel like in your case in in your instance you've been hurt a lot collective and you don't go out hurting other people okay i feel like there's this energy of a blessing coming in for you okay a huge blessing of transformation with this death card okay because you're such a nurturing person because you know how to take care of business because you're so strong internally okay i feel like you have completed some type of transition or completed a death a death cycle okay with the death card here i feel like you've gone through a major um ego death in the last three years okay the last three years there's heavy on the fire sign energy in this reading especially if you're an aries leo sagittarius you've gone through a major ego death in the last three years okay you've had to heal a lot you've had to be strong and you had to stand alone okay you've had to stand alone you were taken into isolation you felt like you were dying okay with the death card you felt alone um unsure uncertain blocked restricted all of those things especially with the hangman card here okay but the hangman is in reverse so um the hangman upright is pretty much about changing your perspective and like doing things in moderation and waiting until the tides change um but it's in reverse right after the death card so I definitely feel like there has been a major shift in your life or there's a major shift that's coming up and it's going to happen rather quickly, okay? It's go and then some of you are giving birth to a new business, okay? I don't even feel like this is an actual baby. But you got the Queen of Wands here. You have the Empress card, which is a fertility card. You also have the Death card and the woman on the Death card is pregnant. And then you have the strength card and Leo rules fertility. Um, but all of that surrounds the queen of wands. And the queen of wands is all about her business, okay? Entrepreneurship, leadership, CEO type stuff. So I definitely feel as if some of you are giving birth to something new, okay? You're rebranding or you're giving birth to a new business that's going to be very profitable, okay? I feel like it's go time for you collective. I feel like you're no longer in this stagnant energy of the hangman. That's why the hangman is in reverse, okay? I don't know why I just heard. I know why the cage bird sings, okay? So someone's name could be Maya um, or Mia and Maya Angelo. So Maya, Angela, Angelo, Angel. Someone could have an angel watching over them who could possibly be a fire sign. Their name could be Angel, Angela, Angelo, um, Maya, okay? And then when I just said that I got um, my girlfriends grow with me through thick and thin, um, the, the show, the old show Girlfriends, okay, with Tracy Ellis Ross. And I forgot um, the character Maya's name, but that's what I was just taken to. Um, so some of you may fit that programming of the character Maya. Um, she often attracted toxic relationships and you may find that this is some of you, okay? Um, but I don't know. I, got, I know why the caged bird sings, okay? Because he wants to be set free. And some of you are being set free from a very, very 
very difficult cycle, okay? But you are the shit, okay? You know it. Everybody else know it. You own your shit. You take care of yourself, collective. You don't need anybody. The people that are in your life is because you want them there. You don't have to use anybody. You have a good heart, okay? And there's a, there's a major shift. You are about to give birth to a whole new world, okay? Aladdin, a whole new world. Someone's name could be uh, Jasmine. Jasmine. Someone could be eating Jasmine rice as well. But I'm getting the name Jasmine. Jazz. Uh, Jazzy. I'm getting Jazz from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Something about friends. Because I got girlfriends, the show. And then Will Smith and Jazz were like best friends or something. So something about your friends. You could be starting a business with a group of friends. Or you could be coming together soon to celebrate something with a group of friends. All right. Mm, or some of you are even setting yourself free from friends that no longer serve you, okay? The jazz and the blues. Okay, someone's listening to music. Yeah, but collective, um, you on your shit. And I feel like all eyes are on you right now. And they're going to be on you even more because... People see that you can take care of yourself. All right. You're not looking for nobody to take care of you. Okay. You're not looking for the help. Okay. Y'all might need to watch the movie to help. You are the help collective. Yeah. The seven of pentacles in reverse. You no longer think you done put in all the hard work you had to put in. Okay. You done committed to something and now things are going to come to you easily. Okay. With the higher friend card here, okay? The lesson is over. You've passed the test, okay? The higher friend is lessons, all right? And with that being in reverse, you have passed the test, all right? You have learned the lesson collective. It's time to move on to your own. Yep, judgment. I can't make this up. You've learned the lesson and it's time to move on, okay? The ju a judgment call is being made. Contract over, all right? Contract over. Knight of Pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, all right? Um, a judgment call is being made, y'all, and you are about to move into a new phase of your life, okay? And you you own, you on and popping, yes, Ace of Swords, clarity, all right? The potential for a new beginning, yes, gifts coming in, okay? Money coming in. Taurus energy again with the six of uh, pentacles, but you so you got you got a blessing coming in. There's a blessing with your name on it. Okay, ten of cups energy here, wishes being fulfilled, happiness coming in. Yep, something's over. Something's done and over for good with the Ten of Swords right on top of the Judgment card and the Strength card. Collective, all right? And somebody realizes that someone's going to try to come in, okay? Someone that, okay, look at this, y'all. Somebody that did not want to commit to you with the Seven of Pentacles and the Hierophant in reverse. Somebody that rejected a commitment offer from you, okay? Uh has now made a judgment call to come towards you, to end something somewhere else with the death card and to come towards you, okay? Someone had to muster up the strength, okay? They were in the hangman energy for a while, but they received some type of clarity and they're trying to come where they need to be or, or where they feel they need to be. And this person is coming in with some type of gifts, okay? They want to offer you happiness, okay? They've made a judge, judgment call to end something for good, and come towards you collective and bottom of the deck the knight of cups this could be a cancer scorpio or a pisces yeah someone definitely has realized something yeah the eight of pentacles see how he's whispering in that this person's ear someone's trying to like sneak plan something organize a comeback or something virgo energy Yep. All these knights, okay? 
Knight of Wands, okay? That fire sign energy again. There is some, someone's trying to bring you an offer or come in with something, okay? Um, an offer that was once blocked because you needed to learn a lesson, okay? Now someone has ended something somewhere else and they made a judgment call to come in to you collective. So that's what I have. And you guys are like somebody collective, you are on your shit, okay? And I don't know, I'm getting that uh, OT Genesis, everybody mad. I've been getting to the money because that's pretty much how it's going to be. You, you making things happen. Everything you ever said you were going to do, you're getting it done. And people are just sitting back watching in amazement and wondering how you do what you do. Even though they watch you go through one of the roughest times of your life, they watch you hit rock bottom and they're about to watch you rise to the top too. All right, collective peace.